Okay, so we are at Finders Keepers today and I am solo, but we are about to head in. I'm hoping maybe they still have some of the Czech pottery that we got the last time we were here, um, but I just don't know. So we're gonna put on our mask, we're gonna head in and see what we can find, here we go. Looks like we've got some in here. Here we go, Urfila. So that was actually imported from Czechoslovakia into Philadelphia. And that's what that mark means. I like that. I grab that. And a little candlestick holder. All right, so there is some Czech pottery still here. I'm super stoked. Oh, I just spotted another china cabinet over here that I didn't see yet. Uh, everything is kind of like stashed in little nooks and crannies. So I really have to do like five or six times around the store before I actually see everything. But I'm about to go venture into the bedroom. Because I know there's some good stuff in the bedroom. We're going to go ahead in there and see what we can find. I love these creamers. And we left these the last time. And I know a lot of viewers are like, why did you leave those behind? And I'm thinking that maybe today is the day that we take them with us. Maybe. Looks like this guy has a repair right here. Uh, so maybe not. I did just notice that. And this guy, you can see down here, his, uh, his foot is repaired. So, you know what? I think we're going to leave them. Because they're damaged. And they're $10, so we're gonna skip those. Let's go in here and see what we've got. Not seeing much in here. It's mostly just glassware. But the bedroom may have something promising. Let's look. Ooh, our art glass bowl is still in here. This is a lot of the stuff that was still in here the last time we were here because the last time we were here was the day of the shutdown. And so a lot of this stuff is the same. So if I remember, this glass bowl is $40. So I think that that's too much. They've still got some really nice Czech pottery in here. I know Drew was all about this stuff. And you know, after our other stuff sold the way it did, I'm actually kind of tempted to take that with us because these in our Czech book that we got were some of the, the most ideal pieces. And we didn't realize that until after we'd left. And uh, this opens, I think. So we actually did have a check book that we looked through. And these were some of the prime examples in the book. So, $50, buy it now. If you guys haven't watched the previous Finders Keepers videos, we live about 45 minutes away. So it doesn't make sense for me to put in a bid because then I'd have to come back to keep upping my bid. So I always just usually weigh whether or not the buy it now price is worth it for me and then I just buy it outright. In this case, I think I'm going to just buy it outright. Knowing what I know from having the book and from seeing how our other pieces sold, these pieces are good. And I think we're gonna take them with us. Here we go. Okay, so you saw me pick up the orange pottery um, and the reason that I'm not picking up the other pottery that's here and we kind of went over this in our last visit here but it's been over a couple months um, this set right here they only want 25 for it and that is super tempting um, the big picture in the back does have a chip on the lip um, so basically I'd be paying for these three pieces and for 25 those pieces just don't sell super well um, and then this set up here, they want 50 for these. Um, the one in the front does have a chip and the one in the back has a huge crack. Um, so that's why I'm passing on these. But I mean, I feel like somebody just buying these for themselves to appreciate and enjoy, that is a really good price. 
but you guys know that we buy for resale and so we have to get stuff for less um, it's not it's not because they're overpriced they're just too much for us um, I do really like this set uh, for 45 I especially like that little vase in the middle I'll have to think about that one. We'll have to see what else we grab before we go for that one. But let's look over here. This did catch my eye. Um, they want $20 for all of this. And we've got a little salt cellar here. Um, this looks like Japanese, mostly. Um, this is maybe Noritake. No, this is Nippon. But it's got that uh, house by the lake with the swan. We're just missing the boat. This here, the swan, we're missing, oh wait, no, 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 there's a little house up on the hill. <laughs> but it's got the moriage on the edge, so it's got that texture. Um, this is also hand-painted Nippon, and Nippon is an early name for Japan. Um, hand-painted Nippon, these are really nice. And all of this, including this little picture, unfortunately the lid is missing. This entire set for $20. Yes, please. What is this? This looks like, I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. But it's a glass and it has a um, enamel. You can see the applied enamel there. The enamel is textured. I don't know what that is, but it seems really fancy. <laughs> Check out these plates back here. This one's got cranes on it. Hand painted Nippon. Now there are a lot of knockoffs of Nippon. That mark kind of strikes me as in being a knockoff mark because it looks more modern. And Nippon was before they had to start marking plates in English. Um, so let's see. This is also Nippon. I really like that edging. And oh my gosh, look at that last one. I think we're definitely going to grab all of these for 20 These are really pretty. There is a crack on that one, but um, RC, I believe, stands for Royal Crown. And that stuff usually does pretty well because it's so ornate and because it has the gold. So we're going to add all these plates to our pile up front. And we're going to have both Japanese and Czech in our pile this week. Those are beautiful. I'm not sure about the picture. It's a shame that it's missing its lid, but I feel like that would just make a beautiful piece for like a flowers. I don't know. I'm sure that could be repurposed in some way. It's still worth finding a new home for it. Cause look at how detailed the painting is on that. A lot of the times these are sloppy and the painting just isn't that great. But in this case, I mean, you could tell those are swans. So that's a pretty nicely done piece. <laughs> Let's pull this off. Okay, now these are all as is, but I noticed this one in the back. Let's see how bad it is. This is one of the most valuable pieces of Czech pottery <laughs> right here. It is Urfila. It is not marked. And unfortunately, somebody drilled a hole in the bottom, which is horrible. <laughs> But it's these pictures that are the most valuable pieces of Czech pottery. Um, there are other figural pictures, but these usually fetch the most money. They fetch, I want to say 200 plus when they're in good condition. This guy, he's got a crack on the handle. He's got a hole in the bottom. I'm assuming somebody used him as a planter. <laughs> it hurts. It really does. It hurts inside. Um, but I, I, was, I kept coming back. But I came back today hoping, just hoping that maybe they would put one of these out. And here I found him, on the shelf in the bedroom. $15, buy it now, as is. All of this. And this guy. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, we found it. He could not hide from us. It's such a shame. But I'll take him. I'll take him any way I can find him. Um, and obviously if we take him, we're taking the rest of it with us. Which is great because I think we grabbed the creamer and the single teapot that went with this guy. 
this guy has chips around the edge so that's unfortunate but now we can sell that as a set him as is let's see what's wrong with this guy i don't know i don't see what's wrong with him but um we've got this guy back here like i said these typically you know the, the more boring colors like green i think they sell for like a little less like eight eight to twelve um this is a planter i really like the design on that that's got a fun design you know and it is a it's a planter or, or a cash po i guess you would call it um, but once you put flowers in there is are you really going to notice the chip so it's worth you know listing these we list everything starting at four dollars I list it, you know, somebody finds it and it gets a new life. It's obviously not going to sell for what it would if it was in good condition, but, um, gosh, I almost feel like we had sold a picture that that lid would have gone to. So let's haul it all up front. We're going to pay $15 for all of it. Let's see who makes these. And uh, no, not for us. All right, let's look over this way. I love poking around the bedroom. It's kind of my jam. <laughs> I see a pile of plates over here. You guys know I'm all about the piles of plates. These look a lot like souvenir plates. The one I'm interested in is that one down there. The one with the flowers on it. Let's lift that up and peek. I don't think that's really worth grabbing the whole pile. So we're going to leave those there. And lots of linens. Not really. I've got so many linens at the shop that I, I still have yet to list that I'm not messing with linens right now. I've always liked these because growing up in New England, we actually lived in Cape Cod for a short time. And there were a lot of artists that would carve these birds, these shorebirds. Um, it looks like this one is D. Lieber, 1987. I kind of like that. And it looks like the date on here. Um, I guess it would be 795. I mean, these are pretty common down, you know, by the ocean. But I like this one has a personal touch. It is, you know, signed and dated. So I think we're going to grab it. I'm not real familiar with how much these sell for, but... I like it. It's a nostalgia thing, I think. <laughs> Looks like we've got some head vases over here to check out. Let's look at these guys. Now, these are reproduced a lot. So that always makes me nervous. Um, looks like the price on these one, $12.71. Let's look at the bottom. This one actually has a Norcrest sticker. So that tells me that it is probably one of the older ones. And there is some crazing on it. Um, I don't even know what day of the week it is or what the date is. Uh, I think that it's May 22nd. So I think this would be 1271. And I do like her eyelashes. I think that's why I'm attracted to her. So I think I'm going to take her. And let's look at these other ladies. I don't, I don't really care for them as much, honestly. Um, they're okay but I think the eyelash girl is my favorite. She must be more valuable than the others for her to be that price. But let's talk about this shelf for a second because that shelf is amazing. I just realized that. Um, so it's $55 for this beautiful shelf. Look at the wood burning on that. I'm kind of in love with that, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, do I really need a shelf? Probably not. Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> Every time we come here, we end up with a piece of furniture. Um, so yeah, it's fifty-five ninety-six today. If I was to wait until the thirteenth of July, it would be forty dollars. But I think fifty-five is a really great price for this, and I really like it. Let's see if there's any markings underneath. No. I think if it didn't have the wood, wood burning, I would probably not be as tempted. But I do like that. I think if I remember by the time it's time to go, I am going to probably end up taking this with me. But let's check out this last head vase. This last head vase. Um, okay, so this one is twelve seventy one. Yeah, I don't know. This is the one that I'm attracted to. 
So I think this is the one that's gonna come with us. I'm just wondering why she's the cheapest. Maybe there's something wrong with her, but I don't see anything wrong, so let's take these up and add them to our pile. All right, so I somehow missed this when I walked in the door. You guys remember the last time Andrew witnessed all of this amazing Chuck Pottery sitting in this cabinet. He says, we're taking it all. <laughs> um, I like this bowl. I don't even know if this is Chuck. It's kind of a fun glaze, isn't it? Um, but I think we're gonna pull some pieces out of here. Obviously, we're gonna get, grab these guys. This is like a little individual teapot. Now we've got the creamer there. I like this pot. And this vase is great. So we'll have to grab that coronet. I'm not really seeing, I mean, a lot of it is just little pictures and stuff. The vase down there is great. And look at these little cigarette cases. Those are fun as well. So let's, uh, let's grab a few of these. All right, so I'm gonna grab this little card box that says bridge on it. You can see I did grab that giant pot and I'm gonna grab these little guys here. Um, a lot of the rest of this stuff is just pictures. Um, these are pretty common check pieces. We've talked about these before, these little creamers. The striped creamers are actually pretty common. They usually sell for 10 to $15. So that's why I'm not like just eagerly grabbing those. I'm being a little more conservative this time, if you can't tell. Um, these ones right here, you know, this is little cherry. I kind of like the little cherry design, so I will grab that. And I'm gonna grab this. But the other pieces, like I said, are just kind of more common. I mean, we sold a few of these. Is that Germany or Czech? Yeah, that's Czech, but it is missing a lid. So I think I'm pleased with these pieces and we're going to look some, for some more. I just spotted this EAPG picture on the shelf. It says Mom Mom Jacobs or Mom Mom Goods on the bottom. I don't know why I said Jacobs. It says Mom Mom Goods on the bottom. But I really like that pattern. It's got, uh, it looks like strawberries or berries of some sort. And it's got a bird. I like that. I really like that pattern. So I think I'm going to grab this. Here we've got a little floral frog. I like that, it's check. We're gonna take that as well. Let's see what else we have up here on the shelves. You know, we found some pretty nice check pottery in the back the last time we were here. A canister set. So let's see what we can find back here. It's a little quieter back here. The little lobster pot is still here. <laughs> I think one of our viewers was interested in this. And it's still here, so I think it was meant to be. I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna keep going this way. Hey, for you to tell me what the We've looked at that before. That's a glass face. It's painted. Hmm. Okay, so I'm talking really close to the speaker. Hopefully it's not too crazy, but um, check this little guy out. He is Japan, but he's like a little, I don't know if he's a kookaburra. He's, oh, a pelican. <laughs> he's really sweet. Um, and this is an old sticker, so I'm not sure how much this is, but uh, you know, I'd be willing to pay the $4.95 that he was originally priced at. So that's kind of what I'm going by. I'm just looking at the tags and going off of the initial price when they're white because the new tags are green because they had to reprice everything given the shutdown. So I would be willing to pay $5 for this. I could probably get, you know, 12 to 15. So um, he's really cute. You guys know I'm a sucker for birds. I'm going to grab it. And uh, we're just going to keep looking, looking at everything because stuff is hiding from us. 
So this is a great little check pottery basket that we're going to also add to our pile. We've got this guy over here. The last time we looked at this was the last time we were here. It is 130, wait, no, $90. No, it'll be $90 in a few days. We've already got one barrister bookshelf. We don't really need another one. Although we could have his and hers. That looks modern. I think we've looked at that before. All right, let's go this way. I just had to step outside for a minute and catch my breath. Um, having the mask on is, I've been getting headaches lately and I think that it has to do with wearing the mask. I can't imagine the people that have to wear it all the time for work. It's just, you need some fresh air. Um, but we've got our whole pile set up there at the front desk. I think I'm gonna go around the store maybe one more time and see if there's anything I may have missed. Like I said, they've got all of the shelves, like just stocked with stuff and every time it's possible that I miss stuff. I'm always looking through the camera lens, so I just, I never know. Um, but I think it's worth definitely one more trip around the shop. Um, the, the gentleman in there is working all by himself and I could tell he's stressed out. I told him, I'm like, please don't feel overwhelmed, don't feel stressed out, just take your time packing my stuff. Um, I'm not in any hurry, <laughs> so so I've got the time, and uh, I think we're gonna do one more round. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. But I'm um, just gonna get some fresh air, and then we're gonna go back in. Okay, so that concludes our video. I am back in the car. I paid up. It was two hundred and forty-one dollars for everything and we got so much stuff. I ended up passing on the shelf. I know I was in love with it, uh, but I just don't really need it. You know, if it's still here the next time I come, it was meant to be. Uh, that's what I believe and uh, I passed on it this time. But we will be back. Uh, there is two Goodwills in York and so the next time we come up, we'll hit the Goodwills, we'll come back to Finders Keepers. But I think I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna grab some Starbucks, I'm gonna head home. Um, I got the picture that I was hoping to find. I was so excited. That's just the best. Um, <laughs> the last time we were here, I, I when we started finding all that Chuck Pottery, that was like the holy grail. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it gonna be here? And so when I found out that they opened, I was like, maybe it'll be there this time. And sure enough, we found it. So. All right, so I got home not too long ago and I'm sitting in the sunroom doing my listings of stuff that I bought today. And I pulled out the picture to list the picture. And I'm looking at the bottom of it for oh, the Urfilla. No, it's something much, much worse than a hole in the bottom. It oh. says made in uh, Japan. See. Really? Yeah, it's a Japan knockoff. Oh, wow. So really the lesson of the story is this is the picture that you want to look for. But not in Japan. But not in Japan. It's still a cool piece. Though. It is still a cool piece, it is. Um, I got a little overly excited, and as you can see, the bottom is just really filthy dirty, so um, I wasn't really looking all that closely at the bottom. But sure enough, there is a very faint mark under the dirt that says made in Japan, so. Mm. You know, it is what it is. I had my moment of excitement, and it, it was fun. It was a fun day out, so. Anyway, we you know what I'm doing? back to listening. I'm stroking my bird. Well, on that note, we're gonna call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> we sit and we do head rubs. He sits on my fat belly and keeps warm. And I just rub his little head. Aw, Nedbird. And I rub a little back here. Nedbird, Nedbird, Nedbird. He likes it when I get underneath. Get underneath a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. This bird sound angry. Yeah. This is a cool baby. Good baby bird. Look at all those feathers coming in. Like he's doing really well. Like when when we first got him, he was nothing but a little skin baby. He was bald. Oh, he's strong. Ugh, come here with your little claws. Let go there of the go. shirt. So He's got a lot of wing feathers coming in. You can see they look really good. He's really healthy. Um, he's strong as get out. He's got a little attitude to him, but he's really, he's, he's actually kind of cuddly. He actually kind of likes to just sit in my hand. And I'll sit, I'll keep him in my hand and I'll just sit there like this and I'll just rub his head. And he just sits in my hand. He's a sweet bird. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.